Well, Honda is doubling down on its electric vehicle bet with its first EV battery factory in the U.S. The tie-up with South Korea's LG Energy Solutions is expected to take shape in Ohio. That's according to the Wall Street Journal. It's set to open in 2025. Then it comes as Honda moves to go 100 percent electric by 2040. Well, the surging demand for EVs is leading to big gains for one critical mineral. The price of lithium has jumped more than 500 percent over the past 15 months. Global demand is expected to grow by 40 times in the new de- in the next two decades, according to the IEA. And our next guest is looking to capitalize on that. Let's bring in Keith Phillips. He's CEO of Piedmont Lithium. Keith, it's good to have you on today. Um, certainly a, a very important mineral we have heard so much about, especially coming out of the White House, as they try to really bring production and sourcing back to the U.S. Let's set this up by talking about where your company is looking to compete in that race. Sure. So you made a good point. Bringing uh, you know, energy security is a national issue. It always has been. And now energy going forward will be electric. It'll be all about batteries, and you can't have a battery without lithium. Uh, over 80% of the lithium chemicals in the world today come from China or are processed in China. Uh, we're building our lithium processing assets in the United States, in North Carolina, and in another state to be named later. We're going to have an announcement on Thursday about a new plant in the southeastern U.S., Uh, So really, it's all about bringing uh, lithium back to where it began, which was in North Carolina. The lithium was really invented as a product in in North Carolina and uh, and and providing energy security for Americans. So uh, that was a big focus of the Inflation Reduction Act, trying to expand the infrastructure through these tax credits that are kind of, you know, distributed depending on how much of that production is in the United States. How does that impact where you are in the corner of uh, the lithium industry? So I think it's great news. So. In the IRA, what they talk about is domestic lithium. And the definition of domestic for that purpose is any free trade country. So it's it's the U.S. where we are, where we have assets. Canada, we have an asset in Quebec. Uh, Anything that's processed in the U.S., we have an asset in West Africa. We'll bring that raw material into the southeastern U.S. to convert it into lithium hydroxide. Uh, So I think that that credit is important. That will help drive EV demand. There's another credit that's really important. There's an investment tax credit for it. It's called the Advanced Production Investment Tax Credit. That's actually, we think, more important. And that's only available for U.S. projects. So I think you'll see companies that are thinking about battery plants in different parts of the world uh, or lithium conversion plants coming to America because this investment tax credit will be very valuable. In addition, in addition to the IRA, we also had the president a few months ago invoke the Defense Production Act yeah. to try and speed up the timeline for approval of these mines. I mean, you said that lithium was invented as a product in North Carolina. Why has the U.S. been so far behind? Is it about the red tape or is it just about a lack of focus seeing where the market is moving? You know, it's a, I think it's a, a few things. Today, it's red tape. I mean, permitting in the United States just takes a lot longer than it does in other parts of the world. Australia is the biggest lithium producer. Projects get per, uh, permitted there in under a year. Here, it's two, four, six, seven, eight years, which is you know, a problem, especially in a business that's booming so fast. Uh, but the world has changed. You know, Tesla led the EV revolution. We're now in an in a era where everyone's going to want an electric car. Everyone's buying electric cars. The car companies can't make them fast enough. And people are now looking for the lithium they need for the batteries to go in those electric cars. So people are now looking at places like North Carolina. We were there early. We were there six years ago and started our company. And uh, timing's worked out to be really good for us. And what does the timeline look like? I mean, you know, now that the market's caught up, yeah, it's great. There's a market for it's the production. Great. But we keep hearing timelines of five years, 10 years out. Well, there's two. There's, there's good point. So there's two factors. It takes 10 years from starting at scratch to get a lithium project or a mine into production. That's just what it takes from a geology, metallurgy, permitting, engineering perspective, financing. Uh, we're in year, we're finishing year six. So we're at the tail end of that. So we think we'll be producing in North Carolina in 2026, but we'll bring, bring production in Quebec next year. That'll be the next big produ- producer in North America, in West Africa, in Ghana in 2024. And this new chemical plant we're gonna build, that'll be in 2025. So we have a sequence of growth we're very excited about. Uh, how mature is the uh, kind of mining in the United States or in North America, broadly speaking? Because, you know, you have another number of other markets, DRC, Afghanistan, Australia, that are pretty rich in lithium as well. You mentioned there's red tape that has prevented, in some cases, companies from being able to really grow in some of those areas. So is it still kind of ripe with growth? Are you kind of taking most of the share there or is it pretty mature already? Uh, it's a good question, Brian. There are a lot of people looking for lithium in the U.S. and Canada and, and, and sort of newer markets. Um, the market opportunity is huge. 
Um, you, importantly, the U.S. is a really big mining country. We're the number four mining country in the world. Mm. Not for lithium. We're kind of nowhere in lithium currently. <clears throat> that'll change. But there's a lot of mining activity in this country. Uh, lithium is a critical metal. Uh, people, you know, we need it. So I think you'll see a lot of activity here. Really quickly, yeah. we've heard these targets of half of the all new cars being EVs by 2035. We just heard out in California, it's going to be all new EVs by 2035. Do we have enough lithium in the U.S. to meet that demand? You know, not by 2030 or 35. The answer is yes, we'll have enough, but not by that time, I don't think. I think it is, which, is, which is good for us. I mean, it's gonna, there's going to be a real crunch to get the material. We're not, we don't have enough in the world to turn you know, that, that much production in the world uh, by 2035. Okay. Well, that means a lot of opportunity it's for you. It's a good opportunity for us. That's why <laughs> prices are up. We're happy. Piedmont Lithium's president and CEO, Keith Phillips. Appreciate you. you stopping by the studio today. Thank you very much.